tools you're going to need today is your propane, your butane torch, um, your Hanol torch, uh, a hot water bath. You're also going to need a 25 uh, razor blade. And you should have your mandibular. Uh, it's unmounted, so that's what we're doing today. We're going to make the occlusion rims and be able to mount these. See, the wax is hitting the teeth. Wax is hitting wax, and so what this means is your patient. This is not an accurate registration of your patient's actual bite. So what you're going to have to do is use the hot plate to. All right, come on. You have to use a hot plate to take down uh, all of your wax, so you have at least a two millimeter gap with your occlusion. When the patient bites down, you're going to have a two millimeter gap on both sides. And then you're going to use a gray stick compound to make, actual, make the actual bite registration. To work with the compound, you want to heat, heat it up so it's like you don't want to heat it so much that it starts burning like this and dripping everywhere. And you're going to want to, so and it also turns your compound black. So this is more of a, a sensitive process. You just want to move it in the flame a little bit, take it out, move it in the flame a little bit, take it out before it starts getting sparky and you'll slowly see like this edge you can see this will start blending in and then the where you're heating at is going to turn glossy a real shiny color and then you wait a few seconds once it gets glossy it's kind of a heat slowly like that heat slowly you'll see it get glossy and then all of a sudden it'll go limp and once it starts getting soft like that dip it in the, the water and then you can actually touch it with your hands and shape it on your occlusion once you take all this down and be able to shape it on their wax and get it ready to be able to put it in your patient's mouth close them down and they'll bite and take an actual registration of their their occlusion so you'll be able to mount an accurate case this is my project from last year um, so once you do the gray stick compound you're going to take the bite registration and you'll get this right here you got to make some non-parallel V-shaped grooves. Make sure they don't have any undercuts in them. Because if they do have an undercut, once you take the gray stick down, it's going to stick in it and it'll get stuck and break off your wax. So then when you look, you bite down on it. It's going to flow outside of it. Once that hardens up, you're going to take the razor blade and smooth all this up so it's flush. And you're going to, to look inside this edge and see that fills each little groove perfectly well. The same side over here. It hits these teeth. You can see it hitting the teeth. And it's all flat and smooth. In order to mount the, the mandibular together, you need to take your your bite registration, your occlusion rim, and you to you can either use gray stick compound or sticky wax. I, personally, I prefer the gray stick compound. It's harder, and I have a lot more problems with the sticky wax. And if you want to be cheap and easy, you can use the little cotton tips. These. In order to do it, you just break off the tip. Then go down, break it halfway in between, and then you're ready to use these to place them on. Or what you can do is get you some metal coat hangers and cut them to that distance, and you'll have them always. You can just keep reusing them. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. The, the gray stick compound. You wanna hold it there, hold it together. Make sure your occlusion's tight together, and use one finger, hold it on top, and then use your gray stick compound. Lightly heat it slowly in and out of the flame. Once it gets shiny, you want to take it out before it gets a little uh, liquidy and melty. Now once it's melty like that, you can drop it on, twist, twist, get it, get it up, paint it again, twist, twist, and then you're ready to move on to, wait till it dries a little bit, and then you're ready to move on to the next step.